Dia de los Muertos is coming soon and is celebrated on November 1st and 2nd. For the special holiday, Rio Planning and the Dallas Mexican American Historical League have teamed up to create an altar or ofrenda focused on places lost called Staircase to Nowhere at the North Oak Cliff Library on 10th and Bishop. Typically, ofrendas highlight people, but this one is unique in that it centers spaces in Oak Cliff and West Dallas or Eagle Ford specifically. Photos of the Campo Santo de Cemento Grande, the cemetery, were also included, as well as the Trinity Portland Cement Company cement bag. Please pause this video periodically to read the narrative cards. There are different components of an altar, such as marigolds, flowers, salt, incense, sage, and crosses. El Corazón de Tejas, formerly Tejanos, and prior to that El Chicos, as well as El Phoenix, are two restaurants that contributed to the Latinx Mexican-American culture of Oak Cliff through their Tex-Mex cuisine and are no longer in existence at that location. Eagle Ford School has been historically preserved and landmarked and is now marketed as an event space called the Schoolhouse. Steps to Nowhere, what this ofrenda was named for, was chosen to honor places lost to gentrification and gentrification. The staircase to Nowhere invokes the demolition of homes or businesses with a single physical component still standing like a staircase, a remnant of what once was. Redlining is signified by the red string that is placed throughout. Jacinto Mariles, a palatero, killed in November of 2020 while riding his bike on Beckley is also commemorated. May he rest in peace. Paved Away tells the stories of five neighborhoods in Dallas and how they were shaped by racism and economic oppression. The communities of North Dallas, Deep Ellum, Little Mexico, 10th Street, and Fair Park look nothing like what they did during their prime and Colin Yarborough argues that their respective declines were intentional, that their foundations were chipped away over time. Vario America, How Latino Immigrants Saved the American City by A.K. Sandoval Strauss reveals this history by focusing on two barrios specifically, Chicago's Little Village and Dallas's Oak Cliff. These neighborhoods lost residents and jobs for decades before Latin American immigration turned them around beginning in the 1970s. Zoning 101 or what to do. Something to do in this moment is take the self-determination pledge and go to our website, rioplanning.com for more resources like the Zoning 101 handout. If you don't already follow us, we'd be happy to connect at Rio Planning, R-A-Y-O Planning and Damal Official to learn more about the work that our two organizations are doing. Be on the lookout for DeMaul's Nuestro Oak Cliff historical photo exhibit being uploaded to our website so you can enjoy it even after the closing date.